How to format dialogue in a film script. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Hopefully you've watched how to format your film script and how to format scenes in a film script. If you haven't, we suggest you do. It's now time to learn how to write and format your characters and dialogue. Agents and producers like to see a professional package because it shows that you mean business. Your aim is to hand them a professional and readable script, so get hold of one to use as a reference point while you work. The following film has been prepared with advice from Teach Yourself Screenwriting, part of the Hodder Teach Yourself series. Step 1. Introducing a character. When a character first appears in your script, their name should appear in capitals in the narrative text. From then on, they can be written in normal lowercase text, except when their name appears as a cue for dialogue. Step 2. Character cues. When a character speaks, you must write their name in capitals, approximately 4.2 inches from the left-hand edge of the page. Don't centre it. Most characters will have names, but if a character you're introducing is a functional extra, they'll be called something like policeman or shop assistant to reflect their role. Step 3. Actor's direction. Directions for the actors are also known as parentheticals, as they appear in brackets. The main purpose of actor direction is to help the actors interpret the script as they read through. They're frequently used to indicate the tone of delivery. For example, you're such an intelligent person. They can also be used to indicate to whom a line is being delivered. For example, Jim, to Anna, I think I'm in love with you. Or, the phone rings, Jim, hello, Jim speaking, to Anna, it's for you. They're written in lower case and are often positioned between the character cue and the dialogue. Sometimes they also appear within a portion of dialogue. They should be placed half an inch to the left of the character cue, so they remain distinct from what is to be spoken, and should be 1.5 inches wide, and wrap to the next line where necessary. Step 4. Setting out dialogue. Dialogue fits into a column 3 inches wide, which begins 3 inches in from the left-hand edge of the page. Dialogue is placed beneath the name of the character that's speaking, and should be single-spaced. If you want to denote a pause between words within the dialogue, use the word beat for a short pause and double beat for a longer pause. There are two ways of doing this. 1. Leave a line. Tony, I'd like to know where I can buy a gun, so I can kill my next-door neighbour. 2. Within the text. Tony, I'd like to know where I can buy a gun, so I can kill my next-door neighbour. Step 5. Don't split words or lines across pages. Never split a line of dialogue across two pages, and never split a word across two lines by using a hyphen, unless the word is naturally hyphenated. It makes your lines hard to read. If a section of dialogue spoken by a single character crosses from one page to the next, many writers like to indicate this by using more at the foot of the lines on one page, and the name of the character speaking followed by continued on the next. Step 6. Combining action and dialogue. If a description of action breaks up a character's dialogue, then it must be written like this. Kirsty, I need to know the names of everyone who was here that night. She takes out her notepad and walks towards the bartender and his wife. Kirsty continued. Well, don't just stand there. Start talking. Remember to start your action description 1.5 inches in from the left-hand edge of the page, as it's part of the narrative or scene direction. Step 7. Unusual dialogue. Don't worry. You don't need to be multilingual to include foreign languages in your script from time to time. Write the line in English, but indicate the language to be spoken as a parenthetical beneath the character cue. You can also use parentheticals to indicate voices filtered by a phone or a radio. Well, that's the basics for you. When your script's made into a Hollywood blockbuster, be sure to send Video Jug a cut. Done.